Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. I was afraid that if things went wrong, the system wouldn't let me keep my daughter because they think it was morally wrong for my daughter. You know when this picture, when you first saw this picture, it was the one that made you laugh, wasn't it? Because you'd asked me to show you what I look like as Sarah. If my daughter had had a problem with it, then I would have had a problem with it because I'd made a conscious decision not to let my feelings override my daughter's feelings and my daughter's needs. My mum described it so carefully and so well that I just understood everything she said. And I was really looking forward to it because I kind of would make my mum really happy. When she first walked in the door, I, I came downstairs because I was actually supposed to be in bed, but shh. I looked in the kitchen, and there she was. I was like, huh? She looks a bit butch. I was nervous of her, and I think she was a bit nervous of me when we first met because, like, I'm, I'm not the. I'm, I never expected to be a parent in any sense of shape. The first day I saw her come out, she looked immensely different because um, this time she was a full-time woman, not having to dress up. I mean, at first she used to call me stepmom, and it was driving me insane. But now I just kind of take the role and help Sarah where I can. Kate's the grumpy one and the bossy one, um, and Mum is the all lovely dovey one. <laughs> My daughter still had two people who thought the world of her and tried their best to have bring her up. She's like having two parents, like kind of Mum and Dad, just that they're two women. If somebody was to ask me if I preferred my mum or my dad, I'll just say, in my heart, they're still both there. I didn't think you would. My dad's still there. Mm, I love you. Kiss. Mm. Mentally, in my head and heart, I already was my daughter's mum. And that's probably another reason why my daughter found no unusual transition from Brian to Sarah. Because, you know, I was just looking different. I think if Sarah had stayed as she was before, she'd have still been a caring father as she's a caring mother. I wanted to be honest to, with her and I wanted to protect her, so that means I could be a better parent. I mean, I wanted to be the best parent for her, and the best parent for her is now. I think she's the best mum ever. She never ever leaves me alone. If I'm upset, she'll always try and help. She always does what a parent should do. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, what do you do? Okay, fair I just saw apple two laces. <laughs> so what are we gonna get? I don't know. Something cheap and cheerful. One hundred 
22 and 60 pence. Oh, The next thing we knew was a bloody TV camera crew, newspaper people all on the doorstep saying, what do you think of this? And it was a nightmare. I don't like this one because it says, this is the Britain's weirdest family. This one says, the girl with three mums. And this is the American one, the Inquirer. The first day I walked into school, I found people sniggering and just like staring at me. And I saw sort of like people like talking about me and stuff, um, and pointing. And I did find it a bit scary and rude. I felt really down and down in the dumps, and I felt like I had nobody left. I've always been there to defend her and protect her, and I couldn't protect her from from the press made me actually wish that I was that, that I'd have stayed as Brian during that period because it was it was for me it was it was like this wouldn't have happened if I'd have stayed as Brian. Well, transsexuals, that time you take that first step out into the world as a woman can be a terrifying experience. Do you look like a real woman or just like a big butch bloke in drag? Show me pictures of. Um, him dressing up as funny at first. Because uh, it must have been a bit of a... There's two, two men that are now... Well, they've um, had the... Old... Oh, sorry, two, two women who were men. Right. Who are looking after a child who is 12 now. I think a child needs all the help they can with normality in life. I mean, did she have a real choice at that age? She would say yes to please mummy. I just can't help feeling it's a little bit selfish you can put off. Sorry, I just can't help... After that. Everybody just seemed to go against me, my parents, and I just couldn't stick up for my parents. Today is my first time of doing my video diary, and I normally come down here because I've either been bullied or something. I've been called weird. My parents have been called weird. I wish it would all stop. And maybe it will soon. Her mind was more focused on what was being said. So I said therefore she was distracting it from the importance of her life and her future and her education. I want them to be thinking that's a fantastic family. That's the most best family I've ever seen and heard of. Gives her a, a chance to be able to say her own things, the things that she's wanted to say, to show you that, that she is a happy child and that she is a confident child and she's not brainwashed in any way. I'll be weird, I'll be strange, like, stuff like that. Just questions to ask, like, the things that I'm now doubting. I had lots of lesbian friends who's got children, and it, it never occurred to her that being transgendered and lesbian was slightly different. It was just, I think, a, a body blow to her, you know. 12 years of age, you don't expect to be over the national newspapers.
Uncle John? Do you think that Sarah was still blind? Do you think, um, do you think it would have mattered, or? Do you yes, it would have mattered. It made a big. Is she's come a long way, being Sarah, because she had just sort of self-destructed in a way. Brian needed to make that change into Sarah, because to be honest, I don't think she would have made it as Brian. And um, have you ever felt embarrassed or difficult about um, Sarah? No, it, 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 it's not so much embarrassment. I, f I feel awkward sometimes. It's like when I talk, you know, it's when I talk to Sarah. Mm. I always talk to her and call her our kid. Because I can't, in, in my mind, you've got to remember, in my mind, for the best part of nearly 30 years, she was Brian. So it's very difficult to talk about the past when the things we'd done when we were children because she was a different person back then. I do feel now quite upset for my mother, but it's made me realise that she wanted to be that person. And I think that in her mind she was a woman, but her body form wasn't. She had no choice. She had to become a woman. They're not the 2.4 children that the rest of the world would, li would like everything to be. And it's Louise's little um, wake-up call to everybody else. Look, if I can deal with it, why can't you? This is my house, and I'm going to show what my family life is really like. Louise! Take your teddy off. And your pen. Got to get your bottom corner in. Go on. I go on and pay all the bills and do all the paperwork. All right, let's go that. You ready? There we go. Sarah does cooking. Lou does the dishes because it's her pocket money. I sound so lazy. You make it out. sound like I sound really lazy. <sighs> yeah, that looks disgusting. Supposed to be Just start it up. Just start it up. Hello, babe. Mm -hmm. Got sweet. Half a second. You gonna burn it? Mum will burn. Be careful, do not come as close as that to the barbecue. Shout! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> They're like kind and nice, generous. <laughs> um, I don't know, really. They're just like really nice people. Tails. I just feel like I'm the only person that's like, like me, so it's just a bit strange and I just got too many questions, it just makes me feel really lonely. I just want to know if like, there is any other people like me out there. And I really, if I could, I would actually like to meet someone. We're looking for more on families, aren't we? So, if we bring down, let's see what hits we've got. I just want to know, because a normal family, would we still be, would I still be bullied, or would I have lots of friends and not get bullied as so much? Whenever she's not happy, I'm not happy. But when she's like okay, but she's not brilliant, I'm okay but not brilliant. <laughs> it's kind of just like a family thing. She's not very happy now because she don't like the way she looks. When she thinks that um, she's ugly, she doesn't look really look herself.
now I'm getting into having to wear big clothes, bigger clothes like this. You don't feel as glamorous, but they're comfortable and that's all you can go on. My weight gone from size 8 to size 18, which obviously changes the way you feel about yourself. You know, you go from feeling comfortable with yourself to feeling very Bridget Jones about yourself and all that weight, all all the unsure, unsure of whether she did the right thing because of Lou. Strange, strange. Now she's had the op, she feels less the woman she was before the op. Trip up. Yes, thank you. Good. Come on through. Let's have a look. chat here in the office. Prior to actually <coughs> having treatment for your gender dysphoria, uh, I gather you were a size 8, so yeah. you were a slim gym, and now you're exactly. not a slim gym. Undoubtedly, the hormones that you, you take have a, have a part in, in weight gain, there's no doubt about that. And I don't think there is any magical solution, uh, whether you're a transsexual or you're not a transsexual, weight gain is all about uh, a balance of what you're eating and a balance with exercise. Okay. Okay. Lovely to see you. Lovely have a safe trip you. back. Bye bye now. Gorgeous. That's my plan to, to get her just like that. Probably not skinny, but get her looking as pretty and happy as that. I physically used to get sick at seeing my body develop in, and the way it was doing, like, when I started having facial hair growth was an absolute nightmare. I'm overweight, I'm bigger, I, I don't look very feminine at all, but inside I'm absolutely ecstatic with myself. I think they'll class me in Sarah's silver patch because we're just flat mates. It's like a big mistake will have been erased away and it'll it'll be nice to know that what I felt my whole life will actually be recognised. So he never existed. called Jamie um, and he's got a stepmom called Gail. I think we're going to be doing bowling. I'm not sure yet. I think we're doing bowling and then might go and get a meal. So might get a bit hungry. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> and um, he's cute. I'm thinking that perhaps I could get a date out of it. Mm. <laughs> Hello. Jamie doesn't know anybody else with transgender parents, and he's never had anybody else to share those thoughts with who's not going to judge him or laugh at him. When I first found out that she was transsexual, I didn't get it. But then she started telling me about how it happened and, and I've begun to understand why she did it. Can you tell us why she did it? Because she felt like a woman inside. I've been bullied quite a lot. 
nasty names and stuff like that. And you can tell us what kind of names she calls Gail. Like, why's your mum a man and why she got a right deep voice and stuff like that. Just felt empty, like I've got no mates anymore, because all people who wore my mates used to do it as well. Same with me. Have you got any advice for me? Gail told me this. She, she just, you just say to him, it's not my problem, it's a dot pick on me to get through to her. If you want to get a point across to her, go do it yourself. Meeting Louise, I've realised that both of them really are no different to any other children. Why judge them? Why pick on them? You know, they're not transgender, they're not different, they're just children. Look at that. Yesterday I went bowling with Jamie. I got on so well that he's now my boyfriend. Um, and he's really sweet. It was really exciting to be able to talk to somebody who was in the exact same situation as what I was. So when like, me and him have been bullied and we don't want to talk to our parents, me and him can meet each other and hopefully talk to each other. This is the picture of me and him. I really love him. Shh. Don't tell anybody else, but I really, really do love him. <laughs> oh, yeah. One of the reasons for doing this and why my, it's good for my daughter is because she gets the self-confidence up. That will make her try those things that she's not good at at the moment. Once that's broken, then she knows that she can conquer anything. Okay, side. Now. Up. 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 Now. Up. Up. How do you think it went? Good? Yes, Got a punch out of though. <laughs> you weren't, you were flapping your arms around. You weren't even There's putting picture, any then. effort into it. No. Picture. Not really, no. Wimp. Go on. Tomorrow I'm going to be going to see old lady and she lost her kids um, through transsexualism. I don't know how but I'm going to be finding out. But I'm going just to basically talk to her, see what she says about it. And in a way I feel sorry for her. That used to be me. <laughs> and uh, so there's when I got married, and then there's my children. I've got four children, um, and I haven't seen those since um, I've changed. Why do you think that they don't talk to you more? I think, if anything, I think if they might be scared of what their friends will think. Um, understanding. Yeah. Of it, and they used to be. Yeah. But, and I know back then it was a lot harder to. Do you have any regrets about <coughs> um, becoming yourself? I don't think I had much choice of me becoming Claire um, because I was grumpy and miserable, and, and I, I'm sad that my children, um, I don't see them. But I think I'm. I'm a much better person now than I used to be. Yeah. But it's so sad that they're not around to yeah. know me. 
how hard is it actually to be away from your family and not be able to, um, you know, communicate with them? I do cry sometimes, because, you know, if little things happen and I kind of... Yeah. Um, yeah, I do cry sometimes. I wonder what they do think about me. Mm. You know, they must... I suppose they must miss me a bit. They probably still do care for you, but they don't... They probably just can't find it yet. But as they get older, they mm. might begin to understand and be able to communicate with you, which then gradually gets um, closer to you and make, makes them want to come se see you again. Thank you. Hopefully. Yeah. Um, what do you think about my family then? What do I think about your family then? I think, first of all, I, I, I said to you when I first met you, I think you are really great. You are a star. <laughs> Do you know what a pioneer is? No. Somebody who does something for the first time ever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's not many like you, and I think it's really special. You're really special. Thanks. You're gorgeous. Really good. Claire has proven me one thing, that we're a very strong family because we stuck by each other. And I didn't um, go, oh no, I don't want to be with you now because I think you're strange. I've got a strong daughter, yeah, yeah. And regardless of the difficulty personally I'm having physically, yeah, my family unit is actually probably stronger than ever. It's got my name, Kate Ruth. And then, of course, sex girl. <laughs> That's the bit that counts. My former name just doesn't exist. It, it's, it's, non, it's non void. No one can take that away from me now. I'm just going to say that basically my parents are an extremely loving family and with all of us we all care for each other and we will not let each other get hurt. I'm extremely pleased that I've got this chance because it's like I'm actually going to be able to say what I want to say. It's a small village where we live, and this is a youth club that obviously that Louise might be able to get to get to know, which would be nice for her. Well, firstly, I'm Sarah, um, and I used to live around here, so I'm one of you lot in many ways. However, as some of you might say. I'm very different. I think how Louise is seeing it, this as a, a, a chance to be to vindicate her life. It's her first opportunity to be with a group of people who know that we're transgendered on a one to, on a, a basis where they can ask and she can explain. If there's not that many people there, I'm not gonna be scared, but there's quite a lot I'm gonna be absolutely shaken to death. But um, didn't stop me from saying it. I'm biologically my daughter's dad, but my daughter calls me mum, not because she has to, because she wants to. This might be a, a story she has to repeat and repeat, like me and Sarah do. This is probably going to be Louis' first time of people who are asking her questions about us, and it'll probably happen for a long time in her life to come. This is me sticking up to them and trying to make our life better. They do the lipstick. 
to do the hair. They do the makeup and stuff, and that's what makes them real women. Okay. It was just a case of experimenting to find what suits, and as you get older, <laughs> you need more in different types. And when I was younger, I only needed a bit of foundation and a bit of powder, and that was it. I'm not a great one for makeup though, because with being big, it tends to, if I get hot, it runs, so um, I don't put a lot on. I'm trying in vain to grow my hair long, but because my hair is naturally curly, it uh, it curls up all the time, and it's a real pain. I had laser treatment for my beard growth, which is basically burnt by a laser. I wish my legs would stop growing hair as well, but unfortunately, like everyone else, I still have to have a bikini wax and uh, shave the legs. Unless I want to go out hairy as a German girl. Okay. Make my skin a lot softer. Yeah, Heightens your smell sense. Cool. <laughs> oh, things I never used to smell as a bloke, I can smell terribly now. <laughs> I think that's why we like perfume so much. I couldn't do this when I was her age because I was biologically different. So when I first went bra shopping, it was really hard because there was only just myself and I had no one to ask or anyone to get advice from. You know, and it's an important thing because you wouldn't want to walk in here on your own and just on the first time and get yourself a bra, would you? Mm, no. No. Did you fit your room? Just slip your, your shirt, shirt off. Measure around your chest. Okay, so I'm going to get you one first and we're going to try it on you, okay? Alright? All right. Away. That's beautiful. That's nice. I like that. Alright? Ready? Yeah. Come on then, off we go. You happy now? <laughs> Because tomorrow I'm going to be doing my speech at five o'clock and I'm extremely, extremely terrified. Probably going to think, oh, what freaks. But I'm going to do this for my mum's sake and Kate's sake and my sake. If I can do that, I can do anything. Okay, and you get any problems? You need a bit of breath of fresh air. Give me a tap on the hand and tell me, okay? This is our family, because again, you might have seen in the paper that we're supposed to be the weirdest family in Britain. Yeah, and as you can see, far from weird. As my mum said, we've all got one head and not two. Does anybody? Um, want to say anything about what they think to my parents? Um, none of you look weird, so why do people call you weird or anything? Um, I'm not sure. It's probably because they don't know our personalities mm. and they just go on what they think. Do you actually call um, Sarah and Kate both mum? Or one mum, one dad? Um, no, I call um, Sarah my mum and I call Kate Kate. When she's not calling me wicked. Yeah. <laughs> At first, did it actually feel quite weird actually being in woman's clothes? Um, yes, it did. Because I started at 14 with the first time. I actually went, was thrown out of my first school because I was in, in an old boys' school and they actually sent me home for wearing a skirt to school. 
<laughs> so that was a bit of a shock for my parents and my mum. I went being horrible, but did you feel embarrassing, like, walking around with Kate and Sarah? No. They used to be quite um, unhappy about themselves. I thought, well, they're happier now, so I was happier. When I kept first came in here, I was so nervous of what your questions were going to be. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, to you all. I thought two of the kids there were a bit funny because they're smug on their face. But apart from that, I seem to made two friends in one go. <laughs> um, but I do think it went really, really well. Extremely pleased with myself. I thought she was brilliant. She, she was scared, which she was nervous about getting up there talking. But when she got going, she. She was fantastic. She just sometimes catches you so off guard with something so sweet or, you know, and, and I think she's going to be a fantastic young woman. I'm as proud as I can be. I mean, she is still a, a, a bubbly and normal 12-year-old with a different type of normal. Picking some flowers out for Lulu because she's done really well at school. So, so her mum said to get her a little surprise. So I'm trying to figure out what she'd like. I think some roses, probably. Pink ones down there. That's excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. I don't like flowers. I just don't get any. <laughs> I know that there's no need to be upset. And I know that now I've got a lot more courage against them evil thingies called bullies. Hello. Hello. Hello, trouble. <laughs> you right. Close your eyes. Right. Open. Open. Have a look. Ah, oh, thank you. They're yours for getting that phone call. What do you think? English. Oh, thanks. Yeah? Do you like? Yeah? Well, that's what you get when you do well, isn't it? So, well done. Is there any colours you really dislike? Pretty okay on most colours. Um, I love purples. Yeah, to make her look more girly again. Girly, nice. When you've got a little bit of sparkle there. I love the zips on it. Ah, I think she's enjoying herself because she's getting new clothes for once. Once in a blue moon. How about trying them both? Oh, I'm trying both. Yeah, again. Oh, oh, you are a pest. Oh, you like, like it? She looks amazing. Yeah. I'm shocked because, like, she used to be Femi, then she was all Butch, but now she's got Femi again. I'm confused now. If we can get our hair done. She's going to look fantastic. Oh, that's great. I like that. Oh, yes. Most definitely good. Yeah. Can you see the back there? It's fantastic. Yeah. Can you see the back there? It's fantastic. I'm not so afraid now of people looking at me or talking about me, I, I don't feel self-aware, which is a bonus. Today, she cheered up. She was at the top of the world. Um, and she was so happy, she made a smile on my face. Today, me and Kate are put the museum and I'm quite excited <laughs> but I'm trying to keep it a secret from my mum because we don't want to spoil the surprise.
going to go and tell her that there's somebody who needs some directions. Cool. Well, it's basically saying thank you for um, always being that. You're a good daughter. Come and give me a hug. Oh. Hi, today's prize. Um, I'm very excited. Um, so I got too excited to hang the blow out the window. It's been such a nightmare year and people having a go at us in the press. And you need something to recharge your batteries and just make you feel good about yourself again. It's good to be a bit outrageous as well because there's people a lot more outrageous out there than me. Put your hands down now. Because of all what we've been through, I didn't normally like to stand out in the crowd because of um, the things that the newspaper said, but now we're more confident um, and more happier. We're not um, so scared. There's going to be drag queens, men dressed up as females, females dressed up as males. There's lots of families and children like with lesbian parents and gay parents like I've got. Some people might call them odd, but it's very nice to know that I'm not the only one out there. If I get bullied again, I can ring Louise and then she can talk over it and it'll just make me feel a lot better because I've got someone to talk to about it. <laughs> I think people are watching this. Um, I think me and Jamie are very grounded and very good. And I think that that will hopefully reflect onto our parents. Oh, bring it in. I know, but look how high it is. A few months ago, I was really unhappy, but now I've got a lot more happier um, because um, everybody around me is cheered up. And I think the other people who um, are watching this are going to think that's a really good family. I like that family. Doing this is actually giving her the opportunity of being able to see that she's just a normal 12-year-old young woman who loves her family and just wants to have a normal family. Yeah, I am. I Are you going to pull on this bit or I'll let some out? You Mum's come in all shapes and sizes and I'm just being another mum. I want to grow up and, like, just probably get married. I don't want to be a lesbian or transsexual or anything like that.